Gonorrhea, caused by bacterium Neisseria gonorrhoeae, is the second most common sexually transmitted infection in Canada. When symptomatic, gonorrhea causes a burning sensation, itching, discomfort, and an unusual discharge or bleeding. However, many times it is asymptomatic. Asymptomatic, undetected infections can still spread to others and untreated gonorrhea can lead to pelvic inflammatory disease, epididymitis, and infertility, making gonorrhea a public health concern. Most cases of gonorrhea can be treated with a single dose of dual azithromycin ceftriaxone antibiotic therapy. However, supergonorrhea, which exhibits resistance to both azithromycin and ceftriaxone, the first-line empiric therapy for gonorrhea, has emerged. Although supergonorrhea is rare in Canada, azithromycin resistance is established and increasing. A gonorrhea cell is like a factory with the production lines running 24-7. Inside the factory wall, antibiotics kill gonorrhea by shutting down essential functions of the factory. Antibiotic resistance occurs when a change in the bacteria's genome keeps the gonorrhea cell production lines running. Genomic technologies are helping us understand and detect antibiotic resistance. The genome, a blueprint, can provide an insight into an antibiotic resistance profile. This is especially important since the ability to test for antibiotic resistance relies on culturing Neisseria gonorrhoeae, which is performed less commonly than nucleic acid amplification tests. Studying the genome can detect resistance, monitor changes in the resistance or susceptibility, and identify transmission patterns. Genomic technologies have revealed that two different strains of azithromycin-resistant gonorrhea are spreading in Canada. In one of these super strains, DNA changes activate a pumping system. The pump prevents the antibiotics from flooding the gonorrhea cell. In the other strain, the DNA changes trigger renovation of the cell's factory. Azithromycin can get into the cell, but cannot stop the production lines from running. Genomic technologies have also been used to compare Canadian strains with gonorrhea from other countries. Genomic technologies have superior ability to identify differences and similarities than previous methods. Research suggests that supergonorrhea was imported to Canada by returning travelers and then spread through both heterosexual and homosexual communities. Genomics, therefore, can provide a greater understanding of the type of gonorrhea circulating in the community, can help inform treatment guidelines, and mitigate the emergence of untreatable gonorrhea in the future. It strengthens our understanding of the changing antimicrobial resistance and transmission landscape.